combustion, oxidation and addition are few of the reactions that we've already seen. Now let's talk about the last type that is the substitution reaction. As the name suggests, substitution means removal of something and replacing it with a new entity. So in the case of hydrocarbons, what do you think gets substituted? Needless to say, it's the hydrogen atoms. Yes, the hydrocarbons, especially the alkanes, are very peaceful by nature. They do not participate much in reactions unless forced to by changing conditions or by catalysts. So when changing conditions like temperature or pressure come into the picture, or even when a catalyst is present, the hydrocarbons get influenced. They lose their hydrogen atoms and get the place substituted by other atoms or groups. The best example to explain this is that of methane which reacts with chlorine in the presence of sunlight. It gives rise to methyl chloride. Let us understand this in a simple way. The structure of methane is somewhat like this. Now when chlorine is made to react with it in the presence of sunlight, one hydrogen from methane gets detached. The parting of hydrogen leaves the carbon atom available for bond formation. Now this position can be occupied by one chlorine atom, right? This is exactly what happens. As a result, the compound methyl chloride or chloromethane is obtained. But what about the hydrogen atom? Well, it binds with the other chlorine atom. Since the hydrogen atom got replaced with a chlorine atom, this becomes a substitution reaction. Let me ask you something and I want you to understand this question well. Once the alkane participates in a substitution reaction, then can the same reaction be carried out again? What I mean is, can another hydrogen atom be replaced or substituted here? Let's write methyl chloride on the reactant side. Can this react with chlorine to give another substitution reaction? Of course, why not? Just like in the first case, another hydrogen atom in this molecule can also get replaced by another chlorine atom. And the other hydrogen atom is again taken care of by the other chlorine atom. The product obtained now will be dichloromethane. This is a substitution reaction where methyl chloride is converted to dichloromethane. Now let me ask you the same question again. Can there be a follow-up substitution reaction? Of course, you will be astonished to know that the same substitution reaction can continue further for replacing another hydrogen atom. This gives us trichloromethane, which is nothing but chloroform. Lastly, substitution of the single remaining hydrogen atom can also take place giving rise to tetrachloromethane. And again, a molecule of hydrogen chloride is formed as a byproduct. This is how many important commercial products can be obtained using substitution reactions of various hydrocarbons. Now that we're done with the four major properties of hydrocarbons, let's have a look at a few hydrocarbons that form an integral part of our everyday life. Meet you in the next video.